what is up you guys I am back it's Mackindra um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into this video I'm going to be taking this eye primer by Morphe and I've already got my eyebrows done off camera and so since I got my eyebrows done I'm just gonna be going in with this primer right away and just going underneath the eyebrows and just cleaning it up a little bit um, and then front and then I'm putting this all over my eyelid just to set it as a eyeshadow base primer um, so we went through some tragedies through this primer this morphe primer was not it sis and I love morphe products but this was just not it it was you'll just see just just keep watching okay see I'm coming up close to the camera and just look at how crusty dusty my eyebrows look oh my gosh it was just I'm telling you it was not it it was terrible I couldn't get it off I tried to go through with the video just to see how it would work possibly but I was putting the powder on and look at it's stripping it off of my eyelid like it's taking it off with the powder and I've never had that happen to me before like look I'm getting so frustrated so I went over with some concealer to see if I can cover it up <laughs> that was even worse I don't even know what I was thinking but I eventually just ended up taking it all off and just priming my eyelids with my MAC primer um, and then eventually so I've done this off camera and now I'm going in with the Morphe palette by James Charles and I'm just going in with that pink shade to start my um, the um, crease shade sorry Okay, so now since I've gone in with that pink, I'm going to be going in with that purple. I ended up going with that lighter purple right there that I just showed you, but I actually started going in with the darker purple that I put on just on the left of it on the screen. Um, it just wasn't dark enough for me, and it wasn't just giving me that pigmentation, and it wasn't really sticking. Um, I realized that this purple wasn't the best purple. I really don't want to say that because it's James Charles, <laughs> um, but... The darker purple was definitely a lot better. See, you could see it a little bit better. And then when I went back in with this pink shade, it didn't necessarily just take it all off. You know what I mean? Like blended it out completely. So I just went ahead and went with that. Okay, so then after I've got it all blended out the way that I wanted it, I went back in with that MAC primer that we used after the hot mess, um, and I just went ahead and cut the crease. Um, and for this cut crease, I went higher because I wanted it to just be a little bit different. I've always done, you know, like a normal, quotations, normal cut crease. And so I just wanted to try something a little bit different. Um, so I just went ahead and did this. Okay, and after I've cleaned it up a little bit, um, I went ahead and I went in with my Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette, and I went in with that teal shade. Um, I put it in the first third of my eye and um, just kind of packed it on there. I didn't put any like primer for glitter primer or anything down. I just used the MAC primer that I had laid down before. I would have maybe next time just because then it maybe would have given it a little bit more of a my my MAC primer isn't the best for like pigments you know what I mean so then after that I went in back in with that purple that we that I was telling you guys about um, and I just kind of blended it in with that teal shade and I'm just kind of following it with the shape of my eyelid and then eventually I'm going back in with that um, MAC primer and I'm gonna be cleaning it up and really following to the T of my eyeball shape Okay. 
Okay, so just a couple questions um, while I'm cleaning this up. I want to know if you guys are sick and tired of me using the Jaclyn Hill and the James pa Charles palette. Those are basically the two big palettes that I have, and I really want a J Jeffree Star palette, but I don't have one yet. Um, but next paycheck, girl, next paycheck. But anyways, um, I want to know if you guys want to see any other palettes. I have a bunch of Morphe palettes. Maybe I can do some like warm, neutral, like sunny, set, sunset vibes. I'm not quite sure. Um, but if you guys are sick and tired of my color and the James Charles and Jaclyn Hill and you want to see a little bit more of like a diversity in my palettes, then definitely leave a comment down below and I will definitely take a look into it and start working on other looks for you guys with other palettes. And so now I'm just going to be taking that MAC primer because I don't really have a concealer that matches my shade. Um, so I'm taking that MAC primer and just kind of pouncing it in before I put in my foundation and I wanted to try something a little bit different to see if it would help brighten up that redness that I have in my face before I put on my foundation. Under the summer sun, summer sun. Okay, so now that I'm looking a little ghostly, I'm, I'm trying something new and going in with my Wet n Wild foundation. Uh, I used to use this a lot, but then I started getting really into my, my MAC foundation, and I kind of really haven't seen the other side in a while, so I just wanted to try something a little bit different again. Um, not my color, so don't come at me, alright? Alright. Um, so now I'm just going to be pouncing that in, you know the drill. Alright, and now I'm going to be going in with my Fit Me powder. Um, I do realize that my foundation ended up being a lot lighter than I wanted it to be, and I do believe that it's one, because of the lights, and two, because of the MAC primer. It was just a little too light for me, or maybe because it's just, this is the third option, you know, and maybe it's just because it's summer, and your girl got a little bit of a tan, so um, it just ended up being a lot lighter than I wanted it to be. Um, but now I'm going to be going back in with that purple once again for the third time, right? Um, and I actually showed you the correct shade. I'm going to be going with that under my eye, and I am taking it up where where we have already cleaned it up up there. I didn't like it, like it necessarily blended out on the under eye like that with it cleaned up because then it just looked kind of um, sloppy and not blended correctly. So then I just went in with it and just went out. Um, so now I'm going to be going in with some bronzer. Again, your girl goes heavy handed, especially because this foundation was so light on me. Um, and I just went on the cheekbones, the forehead, and the chin. Okay, and so then I'm going to be going in with that Jaclyn Hill palette with the highlighting shades in the top left hand corner. And I ended up putting in the inner corner and then I was like, ooh, let's try something, you know, different and be cool for once. <laughs> um, and I just took it onto my lid, just the inner third where that teal color is. Um, and then I went on the cheekbones. Now I'm just going in with an Urban Decay lipstick. I'm not using a lip liner. I just kind of felt creative, you know, and just was not following the rules. 
Um, plus, I don't really have a lip liner that's very pinky, and I definitely wanted to go for a pinky lip just because of the eyes. I had a lot of purple and blue going on, and so the pink I wanted to make pop a little, just a little bit more. Um, so I went ahead and popped on some lashes just from your local Walgreens, <laughs> and then I went in with some mascara for the bottom half and then the top half to just blend in. look this is the mermaid look <laughs> if you like it then please give it a thumbs up and leave me maybe a comment down in the comment section below thank you so much bye